Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to do this no makeup makeup look, which takes me under 10 minutes. So I normally do this look if I'm leaving the house, if I'm like going to the supermarket, going to the shops, going to pick something up, doing an activity and I can't be bothered wearing makeup or if I'm like in a rush. Um, I did this makeup look when I went to work, like when I was an early childhood teacher. Um, and I also do, do this makeup look when I'm like seeing friends and I just can't be bothered wearing makeup. But it makes me feel so pretty and so put together, honestly. It just makes me look a little bit re-energized and a little bit refreshed, um, especially if I haven't had much sleep or yeah, if I've got my bad skin, it honestly covers a lot of my bad skin anyway and I know it's not like the perfect makeup but sometimes I feel more pretty like this than with like a full face done. I don't know if that's like you guys, like is that like you guys um, when you do less makeup you actually feel prettier. Sometimes on my TikTok videos people will comment and say oh my gosh you don't need all that plaster, you don't need that makeup, like you look so good without it, like less is more, you look good without any, so I'm like oh my gosh maybe they are right, maybe I look better with less, I don't know. You guys need to tell me, let me know down below in the comments what you prefer, do you prefer me with like minimal makeup like this or a full glam or in between, like what do you guys think? I know some of you guys will be like oh you suit everything but what is better? But yeah, like I said, this is really quick and it's effortless and it looks really pretty um, and it takes me like 10 minutes at max. I honestly, I love it so much and I do it a lot. Like if I'm not filming content or going out on the weekend, this is the look that I will do most of the other days of the week. Yeah, if I go back here, this is kind of more like realistic of what I look like right now. The ring light like really washes me out so she wouldn't stark outside, but yeah. So anyway, if you guys want to know how to get this no makeup makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so time to do the natural makeup look. So this is me with no makeup on. Yes, my skin is kind of breaking out again. Um, as per usual, I'm due for my time of the month in like a few days, so it always gets like really bad around this chin area. First step I do is skincare because I want my face to just feel really nice so i'll always go in with my okana night moisturizer i know they have a day moisturizer but i just really like the night one i think it's so thick and so nice and i do have a code alicia10 for 10 percent off okana this particular range anyway is all natural vegan and cruelty free they do also have other products with like niacinamide and retinol and stuff so i will just hydrate my skin and i think this is so important um, with a no makeup makeup look because you know your skin can look quite dry and you don't want any fine lines or anything um, so yeah I just make sure I really pack this on especially on the forehead area yeah I'll leave a link to Okana down below by the way I have been using them for like over two years now second step is I will put on some eye cream now usually I use my Okana eye serum but that has run out and I've gone through like three bottles because I love it so much um, but this one I got sent from Glow Lab. This is the Pro Collagen Lifting Eye Cream. A refreshing formula to brighten, hydrate and depuff the eye area. Sounds great to me. And this one is also vegan and cruelty free. And you can see I've already used heaps of it already. I've been using this like every night. Um, so I will hydrate the under eyes and this will get rid of any like excess mascara that I may have not removed from like the day before as well. <laughs> I just wiped it away. Um, so yes, making sure it's really hydrated. My skin always looks way better in the morning. And the last step, especially in the morning to make me feel refreshed is I put on a toner now. And I have mentioned this a few times, so I'm putting on the Okana Maximal Protection Mist Toner. And this is cucumber and lettuce. Made with only seven ingredients and it's 100% naturally derived ingredients. Fragrance free. So this just um, gives you a fresh radiant complexion, specially formulated to deliver hydration to your skin cells and rebalance the natural pH of your skin. And it's also like a primer as well. So, ooh. So I'll just spray a little bit of that on and honestly it will wake me up in the morning. My nose is looking a little bit swollen this morning. It looked like not swollen at all the other day. I was like, wow, this is how it's gonna look like when there's no swelling. But yeah, today it just looks really big. It's funny, like my nose is so different. Some days it's like really swollen, some days it's not much, and then some days it's like really small. 
yeah really random first thing i will do is use concealers and i'll literally just use these to cover my face so i use the nars radiant creamy concealer and i use the ginger one and also custard so custard is a lighter one which i'll normally always start with okay so i will put some here wish my nose wasn't so swollen this morning and then i'll just put some here and i won't go like up past like that area but i'll just leave it sit for a little bit because it just like helps it to be a bit more full coverage this one's running out this one's ginger which suits my skin tone a little bit more i do a fake tan on my face so i don't look so white and I know you you guys were like, oh, you're putting that like directly on your skin. Like you're just putting bacteria back in. But this is the makeup look I do to, if I'm in a rush. So I literally just go over all my spots like this. Like everywhere. Oh my God, I've got so many today. <laughs> everywhere where I see a spot, I will just cover like this. I will cover and after that sits for a while I'll grab my finger I do sometimes do this with a beauty blender but if I've got really dark circles that day I will use my finger because it helps to not like absorb all the product up the sponge and I'll just bring some up on my eyelid because you know it can be a bit purple there yeah you don't really need BB cream with the amount of concealer I put on now I'll just blend this whole cheek out so I'll do a majority with my finger first okay and the next step I will do just to like blend it into my skin I'll take a damp beauty blender and just help to blend it in my skin just so there's no like patchiness or anything and because the concealer is like a little bit darker than my skin tone at the moment because I only put one small layer of um fake tan on my face and then I will tap the beauty blender like under my eyes again just to make sure there's no creasing I'll grab some powder and I will just tap it underneath And then sometimes with that powder I will just like tap it on the concealer like just a little bit down here because that's where most of the concealer goes just so it doesn't like go away and, and it lasts but I still want to maintain that like glowy look see still glowy so now I'll use the DB Cosmetics Get Glowing Press Mineral Bronzer in Tahiti Tan it's all like dirty and smudged off but I really like this color it's like a really warm bronzer and this brush is so gross but it's from Trade Me and it was from a brush set and I use it all the time. So like gross. But anyway, I will bronze up my face because usually I will have my fake tan on and it will always look darker than my body. Um, but I only did fresh fake tan on my face last night so it's not as bad right now. So I will contour the sides of my nose just roughly like this and underneath. Uh, under my chin and under here and across here I just like warm up my whole face and then the side of the jaw and then I do the crease so I'll go, I'll go like this and just warm that up and then I'll do it above my forehead so I'll move this headband out the way I always use this headband by the way like whenever I go out and do errands or if I'm just going out for a little bit just like pop that on and around my face like this now what I do is I'll tap on my play tint from Benefit um, sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't but what I've been doing lately is putting it on my finger so it's a really nice tint just to warm it up and then I will tap a few taps on sometimes this gets a bit like smudgy but it just kind of lasts longer than a powder blush especially if I have this look on for most of the day 
and sometimes I'll just tap it a little bit like on the apples and go up. I don't want too much of the song because I don't want to look like real pink. And just tap up like this. Okay, and then I grab a little bit of pink and just go over my nose. I used to just use my Winky Lux, Winky Lux lip tint, but I've run out. So this was the second best option that I use. I'll put some of that on my lips. Because my lips always look dead. Like, I always have no colour. So I just add a little bit of this on. Not too much. Because I don't want it to look like I've got lip product on. But I want to make it look like I've got colour in my lips. And then I'll quickly put on some blush on top of that. So I use my L'Oreal Blush Sculpt Trio Contouring Blush in Soft Rosy. This one is like really pink as you can see here. It is really pink. So I will just tap a little bit on with the brush. And just add the tiniest speck over that tint. Just the tiniest bit because blush fades off first and I think it just looks so nice. So yeah, and then I just bring some up here like this, just a tiny bit. Just to tie it all in together. And then I'll use my finger to blend it out if I put on like too much. Then I will grab a brow gel. So I'm using my Tarte Sketch and Set um, eyebrow gel in dark warm brown. I really like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just brush it up and um, this can get on your skin so try not do that but I always just brush it up. Oh I really need to pluck my eyebrows. Wowza. They're getting out of hand. My eyebrows need a good wax I think. I always try and make this one look higher because my brows are so uneven and it's so annoying. A little bit more on this brow. Oh my god, it's like pouring down. It was like hailing this morning and it like pouring down with rain. It's ridiculous. Next step is lash curler. I've been doing this because I feel like it lifts my lashes so nicely. So I will take it. I don't know what brand this lash curler is by the way. I'm gonna do my mascara now. So I'm gonna do my mascara now. I didn't even tell you what I was using. This is my favorite. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. The brush is really like small and perfect and this formula isn't too wet and you can really just work it into the lashes. Mine's like a few months old now so I probably need to use a new mascara. Takes me a little bit of time, like especially if I'm in a rush, so sometimes I'll just quickly put this one on and then use like a more like wet mascara and just work it on. Okay, finally, that took so freaking long. And then I will do just a tiny bit to the bottom lashes and I will kind of flick them. Like I won't go directly down, I'll go out so it like creates a nice cat eye effect. So I won't always do this step if I don't um, have much time, but I sometimes do. So this is the Revlon Semi Permanent Brow Ink. And I always use these for freckles. This is in soft brown. Soft brown, and then I will take it. This is for brows, but I always use it for freckles. It reminds me of Freck, that brand that um, you do to like dot on your freckles. So I'll just go like that and then quickly pat it in on that side. And I do this side. I do about 15 dots or so. Don't spot it on too big because I always make the mistake of doing that. And I just stain my skin. <laughs> uh. Okay, so there and I tap it on. And the lucky last step I will do is take this, I'm so glad it's pretty much run out, it is run out. This is the Winky Lux Staining Lip Gloss in Raspberry Framboise. Anyway, it looks like this, it is so pretty. I need to buy a new one. I got sent this and I'm obsessed. I might need to reach out again and see if they will send me some more of these. I'm trying to scrape off what I can. 
so desperate trying to get the last of that. Uh, anyway, it's like a nice gloss to the lips. Okay, so yeah, this is all I will do and I will feel so pretty, like sometimes even better than when I'm wearing like a full face of makeup. Yeah, so what do you like better? Let me let me know down below in the comments. Do you like it when I do like my like my usual makeup routine? Or do you like it when I do this? I know each to their own, but like I feel extra pretty with this makeup look. And I'm not even wearing foundation. And my face just looks so glowy, which is nice because normally it doesn't, but those products beforehand always help so much. Um, so yeah, this is the makeup look and honestly it takes like 10 minutes. It's so easy and if you want to level it up, you can, if you want, do a little wing here, which is what I used to do, but I don't do that anymore. No, it's really basic, but like I said, this is what I do when I just want to quickly go out the house, like if I'm going to the supermarket, if I'm going to the shops, if I'm seeing friends and I can't be bothered putting on makeup, or if I need to do something, um, or I'm doing an activity and I don't want to wear much makeup, this is what I will do, and it will literally take me 10 minutes. And it's funny, because I have bad skin, and people are like, oh, I can't do no makeup makeup because I've got really bad skin, but I have bad skin, and look, I pretty much, like, disguised it by wearing no foundation. It just takes some concealer and making your face really glowy and prepped beforehand, and it just looks so nice. So, yeah, I really like how this looks, and I hope you guys try it out too. So if you guys liked this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and and subscribe to my channel I upload every Monday I could have hit two birds with one stone and film this as a TikTok as well but oh well let me know down below in the comments what you want to see more of on my channel I would love some recommendations I know it can be sometimes disheartening because like so many people are just over on TikTok and it's hard to like get you guys to watch my YouTube videos now so guys um yeah social media is constantly changing so you kind of have to go with the times and stuff um and yeah but anyway i hope you guys liked this and have a great week and i'll see you in my next week's video bye